Hello friends, today we're gonna discover if leather burns and if it does, how. Take safety precautions. If you're ever gonna try this, I don't recommend it, but you know, you never know what's gonna go wrong. So we have a bunch of different leathers here and we have a, a propane fire to get, it, get things started faster and see how quickly leather burns, catches fire or not. One, two, three, 14, 15, 16. Well, it kind of burns and shrinks, loses its form and shape and chars, but it doesn't catch on fire. As soon as I take it off the flame, it puts itself out. Usually leather burns like this. Leather burns very slow, unless it's a very specific kind of leather. And there are fire retard retardant leathers for airline industry and all that stuff but your typical leather will burn very slowly like this. And let's see the leather alternative. Um, this is a garbage basically from our earlier project. We took apart a Louis Vuitton bag. There's a video in our channel about this. Go watch that if you haven't already. So this is the part came out of the Louis Vuitton bag. Um, it was one of the handles. This is what they call coated canvas. Basically your PU leathers or, or those leather alternatives, the faux leathers are pretty typical similar material. There is a base fabric coat um, to hold things together and the top layer is plastic cover, PU acrylic, whatever it's made out of. And they catch on fire pretty quickly. And let's see how long this is gonna take to catch fire and if it's gonna keep burning. One, two, three, it's kind of already fire, four, five seconds and it keeps on going and it's definitely going out of its shape and if you don't put it out it's gonna go for a while it might get dangerous so let's put it out and see how charred and melted the plastic part because it's a petroleum derivative the plastic will always react like plastic and will burn with flames and you really need to be careful and put it out so the flame test can be a pretty good uh, way of determining if you have doubts about something being leather or not. If you're looking at a leather product and you're not sure it's leather, even if it's yours or it's in the store you're assessing to buy, you have a lighter, you can do this. You can just hold your lighter on the leather. You know, four or five seconds is pretty safe. Nothing will happen to the leather in four or five seconds of flame exposure. Some might get a little bit charred, but this, this should be able to remove. But if you do the same to a plastic or PU alternative that you're looking at, one, two, three, four, five, you will start the formation and the shape and the pattern changing on the plastic layers. And that's how you know you're looking at a PU material or non-leather item. But if it's not yours, if it's in front of your um, shopping adventure, get ready to pay for it if you ruin somebody's product before you purchase. So, and be careful, you know, no joke with fire. Let's see a couple other different types of leathers we have in front of us. The first one we tried was chrome tanned, full grain, uh, aniline finish. And these are wedge tan, uh, a full grain wedge tan, a more shiny finish, full grain wedge tan again. They have different kind of finishes, so they might respond to fire a little bit more and wedge tan finish might burn more than the chrome tan. So let's see how it's gonna work. One, two, three, 11, 12. Well, actually it didn't even catch fire. Wedge tan responded much better. And let's try the second one uh, here. One, two, three, four, five. 14, 15, trying to get it to start a fire, but it's not, as soon as I remove it, after the shrinkages and, and deformation happens, the charring is the only impact I see with the deformation, but the fire doesn't keep going on. I don't need to put it out in this level of uh, ignition. But we're gonna blow a full size fire, throw these in and see how they turn out after a full burn cycle of a fire. We have a, a contained container here that we want to make a full blown fire using some paper and throw these leathers in it and see what happens. Okay, 
Okay, so we have a fire going on. Let's throw the leathers inside. Okay, let's throw the leathers. And let's throw the Louis Vuitton stuff as well. And see what happens. We just opened the door a little bit so all the smoke can get out. But this is pretty much a full blown small fire going on in here. So we're actually trying to put the leather into the fire. And once you put it into the flames, it starts burning slowly. And there is a very heavy burnt hair smell because leather is the same material as hair, mostly keratin. It doesn't smell good. So after 10 minutes of fire, our fire is off now. And this is what left over from the Louis Vuitton material, this fourth one right here. It's completely burned. And that was the main fuel of the fire be given it's a plastic item. This was the red full wedge tan and it still makes sounds like wood burning like that crackling sound and it turned like a full blown charcoal. Like I would believe if you said this was charcoal to me and I think this is because this is completely vegetable tan. This was a full wedge tan from the beginning of the tanning and it acts like wood because what is vegetable tanning is actually using tannins that is coming from a tree bark so it burns like a tree it exhibits the characteristics of a tree full wedge tan so this one right here actually was putting out the fire it's also a wedge tan but this is not full wedge tan this was initially a chrome tan leather reversed the chrome tanning cycle but no matter how much you reverse it there is always about one percent chrome will be left over in the fibers and then you fully tan it using vegetable tannins and this is that kind of recipe and that initial chrome tanning made this leather pretty fire retardant so as you can see just the charring happened on the sides and it shrinked and all that due to the heat but it is still in pretty good shape and it put out most of the fire wherever we throw it on to catch more fire and lastly, this fourth piece was full chrome tan item. And again, it acts the same. It doesn't catch on fire. It chars around and then tries to put the fire underneath off. So it didn't get burned. And shows us how leather burns and how different tannages respond to the, the full blown fire situation, as well as a little a little alternative. So this was a fun uh, practice and experiment for us at least and we learned something how leather burns and we had all our pre precautions ready we didn't know what was going to happen and eventually vegetable full vegetable tan leather burned like wood and it turned into a charcoal just like a wood would the chrome tan leather showed pretty strong characteristics against the fire it put the fire out and it didn't get too much impacted and the alternatives the louis vuitton go to canvas or materials like pu leathers will burn and fuel your fire to an extent that you can't even find them, see them in your ashes. Hopefully this was fun and helpful um, that teach you something about leather and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and get notified by hitting that bell button every time we post new content. Thank you. Stay safe.